By the title of this video, you can probably guess what I did in it. And honestly, if it sounds boring, you're right. It was. And I never want to do this again. Though, the game did start off quite interesting, as you only get two grenades per round, so you can't just end up wasting them. So, I would be holding up zombies from the very beginning of the game, just to make sure I wouldn't run out of grenades. Thankfully though, there's a grenade wall by right up by the lander pad by PhD, making it so I only had to spend 750 points in order to get to the wall by. Alongside this, I would also buy a quick revive at the start of my game, and then down myself so that on monkey rounds, the monkeys wouldn't be able to take it, and they'd only go after my PhD. This was all in the hopes of getting Juggernog from a monkey perk bottle, as if this were to happen, the monkeys wouldn't be able to steal my Juggernog. This is what we call Locked Jug. However, luck was not in the cards for me, as within the first two monkey rounds, I wasn't able to get Juggernog, so I folded and decided to buy the perk like a normal person. Now, some of you quick-thinking people may be wondering how I was able to kill the monkeys. Because, after all, when you throw a grenade at a monkey, the monkey will actually just throw it back at you, right? Well, it turns out if you throw the grenade just before it explodes, the monkeys won't have enough time to throw it back at you. The other thing I would do is just hold the grenade as it explodes. Since I had PhD, I didn't die to the explosion. To begin with, the monkeys would die quite quickly only taking a few grenades in order to die, but as I got onto the later rounds, they were taking more and more grenades to the point where I had to let them take PhD and Juggernog. However, when they took my perks, I would wait for them to go a little further away from the perk and then pick the perk back up as once they had already taken a perk, they wouldn't go for it again. So they would always take PhD first, and not gonna lie, I did play a little risky in order to pick PhD back up but it worked well throughout and for Juggernog I would wait for all the monkeys to be around PhD lander then I'd go down to Juggernog, pick it up and as I was going back I would meet the monkeys just a little bit outside of the top of the stairs which was also quite risky but once again it turned out to be fine. Anyway, after about an hour of throwing grenades at the ground I was finally able to reach round 30 in an hour and 10 minutes and I was thinking to myself this doesn't seem too bad and so, I kept throwing grenades at the ground from round 30 to 40, blazing through those rounds, as I reached round 40 in just over two and a half hours. Now as I reached this point, I knew it was going to take me quite a bit longer. In fact, I had anticipated round 40 to be about the halfway point to round 50, and estimated it would take me another two and a half hours to reach that milestone. But I was very wrong. So wrong, in fact, that I wanted to quit out at about round 43 because of how long the rounds were taking me. To put it into perspective, rounds 30 to 40 took me an hour and 20 minutes, and now round 40 to 44 took me an hour, with round 43 itself taking almost 20 minutes, and things were about to get worse. To round 44, I had done the same loop for killing the zombies, doing this specific loop to the left, but on round 44, I noticed something as I was doing it. The zombies were beginning to bleed out and respawn as fresh zombies. This is because when zombies run over the same spot they were in 30 seconds ago, the game probably thinks that the zombie's stuck, forcing that zombie to bleed out and respawn. The problem with this mechanic for this strategy though, is when they respawn, the zombies that bled out now have full health. This was making my rounds significantly longer, as I was essentially having to try and kill some of the zombies twice, and so in order to try and mitigate this, I altered my strategy very slightly, but I should have hopefully saved myself from a few bleed outs. All I did was after buying the grenades, I would do clockwise instead of anti-clockwise, taking the zombies slightly further away from the grenade wall by for about 3-4 to four loops so that they wouldn't walk over the same spot twice in 30 seconds. Now, although this didn't stop bleed outs from happening completely, I do believe it helped me get less of them, but unfortunately for me, the rounds didn't get any faster. And on round 46, I had my final fast round, which was a monkey round, and managed to get through it in around 10 minutes. With getting a monkey round on 46, I could no longer get another monkey round until round 50 plus, meaning rounds 47, 48, and 49 were all just regular zombie rounds, and these rounds were hell on earth. So much so that on round 47, I actually ended up taking it down purely because I wasn't really paying attention to the game and what I was doing. But anyway, 
After the down, I played a bit more seriously, focused up and blasted through the remaining rounds, getting very lucky having a nuke and an insta kill on both round 48 and 49, saving me around 20 minutes in total, potentially more, and I finally got to round 50 in 6 and a half hours. That means just rounds 47 to 50 took me 2 hours, averaging 40 minutes per round, and it was probably the most painful game of zombies I've ever played. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more zombies content like this, and comment down below what weapon on what map you'd like to see me try and get to round 50 on. Hope you all have a great day. Peace.